Hi, my name's Maya. Hi, my name's Eula. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the University of Oversharing. Oversharing. Do you want to get with me? I can't, darling, I can't. <laughs> the weirder the better. I think we played Mario Kart at one point, but by that point my vision was very blurry. Because <laughs> you can't have a boogie at a bar. Like, I had no idea filled. you went to a Berlin gay sex club. And go off on a tangent because we're meant to be talking about <laughs> music and going out. Lecture five: An introduction to drinking and going out. Let's go for a gun piss Let's too. Get <laughs> Hello. Hello. How you doing, babe? I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Yeah. From yep. Yeah. <laughs> From the last time that's recorded. Oh, it's been very eventful. We went inside and ate some ratatouille. Big shout out to Wolf for the right to eat. Yeah, thanks, Wolf. You better be listening. Better be listening. I bet he doesn't. I bet he, yeah, I was <laughs> going to say, I bet he doesn't. But yeah, no, we do, we've, um, we're doing two episodes in one day, which is why we are dressed the same. Yes, why we are still wearing the same clothes and still sound the same. And why we don't really have any news to tell each other. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's why the intro was a bit static. Yeah. Because we've... <laughs> Just we filmed our intro before, so it's all right. We've got our water replenished, coffee replenished. <laughs> we are fed, hydrated, yeah. and ready to rock. The voice has been rested a little bit, thank God. So we're gonna dive straight into this episode, aren't we? And consult the wheel. Oh, I have to delete um, the previous topic, which was music. Music. Yeah, I really enjoyed music actually. Me too. Yeah, Oh, that's good. You've got a little button that you can just blah blah blah. Right. Are you tapping it this time? Yeah, I I'll, do, last I'll time? do the honors. Drinking and going out. Drinking and going out. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I'm fucked with that. Hang on. Sorry. Let me just turn my phone off. Oh yeah. So we turn our phone off. Turn our phones off for every episode because we aren't sure if it picks up like interference or feedback we're pretty sure it does because like one of the first times we did this it was interfering and then we turned our phones off yeah. and it's fine we don't want to like test it again nah we're too scared so yeah uh, drinking and going out which is something that um going out is something that neither of us have done in a long in time a very long time when was the last time you went out what happened what was your night like the last time i went out officially it was the day that we'd cancelled the ski trip uh, and it, we had like a because of COVID. Yeah, we yeah. had like a morning party. Aww. It was very sad. like a little funeral. <clears throat> yeah, but it was great. It was like all my close mates would like come together. Yeah, they were like come out, come out with this my like we know you're sad, but you'll feel better. And oh, I did. that's good. And it was really nice, and I had a good time. Nice. Where'd you go? Uh, we went just on West Street. Um, in Sheffield. Sheffield yes yeah. so we went to. We had like a big house party in my friend's flat first, and then we all went out to um the wick which is unfortunately now shut down because of covid oh that's so sad um, and then we went to molly's and then we went to west street live which are like the best places on nice west street, which i will eventually take you to thank you i look forward to it after whenever well they're all opening again you know in chef that's wild <clears throat> i don't know how i feel about all that though like i've seen lots of people going back to pubs and stuff and you know fair enough it's allowed everyone's taking precautions but for me like a lot of the appeal of going to a pub or a club or whatever is that kind of like inhibited freedom yeah. you know like the opportunity to be a bit clumsy or a bit flirty or a bit wild like also you can hug people yeah exactly and i just like i don't really see the... sorry that's okay <laughs> i don't really see the point in going until it's completely settled yeah yeah because apparently so one of the biggest clubs in sheffield um had the c code has capacity for like 1500 mm -hmm. um because it's like three four floors it's oh huge. yeah i like a multi-floor club but apparently they're only gonna let in 200 max oh that's and weird they've got like a circle that you need to stand in which is weird <laughs> oh my god like, imagine trying to flirt with someone you're right love yeah 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 darling wow it's fine do you want to do you want to do you want to get with me i can't darling i can't there's, like, <laughs> there's restrictions ah oh, it's just weird it is weird it's like impossible to pull now yeah also like i really like elbowing people when they like forget i'm there because <laughs> i'm so small yeah not that, I, not that i went to a single club in third year because all the clubs in Sheffield are full of 18 year olds yeah so and you were a busy bitch you had a lot on yeah but you like elbow people to be like I'm still I'm still here mm. get out of my way yeah get out of my way. <laughs> I'm just thinking this episode would have been great 
for like us to have both get got drunk too because we're gonna do an episode where we both get pissed yes we are i um, think um i think a good episode to drink to was um is it i think it's um jimmy tatro and his friend christian who do um drunk questions on youtube Never... They had Code Co on one time. You should oh, watch that one. Okay. Yeah, but they do drunk questions where they get questions in from their fans and they just drink. Like, it's not like a game or anything. They just get really drunk and answer questions and that's it. We're and I think we should do, do that. that. Yeah. yeah. So keep an eye out for that. So when we put up um, our story asking for questions, please just send us loads and loads and loads because the more questions you send us, the longer the episode and the more content there will be. The weirder, the better. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm excited though. Me too. I just want to wish this water wasn't water. I uh, know. Like a good gin and lemonade or tonic. Oh my god, that'd be nice. I had a gin and tonic yesterday for the first time in a while. Oh. And it was very nice and I'd missed it. I got very drunk on Saturday. I went to visit a friend of ours and got very drunk. I actually ended up not tapping out early, tapping out at like two, but I was the first one to tap out. Well, you were the but were there a lot of you um it was me and zara and kieran and then three of zara's housemates was it nice it was really nice yeah what did we do we played um heads up Ooh. you know that one where you put the categories yeah in, did i love that yeah, one i like that one um and then we chatted for ages and um i think we played mario kart at one point but oh. by that point my vision was very blurry very, yeah. i remember screaming at the tv and being like what the fuck's going on because it was on a switch and i'd never never really like played a switch yeah. before i would love a switch yeah me too i really want it for animal crossing yeah i want it for breath of the wild i don't know what that is. the zelda one okay yeah but you know what i think though back to like drinking and going out i yes. think house parties are 10 times nicer oh my god agreed <clears throat> they're cheaper you only see people that you know and that you like um you can tap out at any time and also it doesn't close as well like yeah. it goes both ways you can tap out at any time and you can keep it going as long as you want and then in the morning everyone has tea and toast and there's no queue for the toilet and there's no queue for well sometimes sometimes but it's i hands down house parties are nicer than going out let us know what you guys think yes. actually yeah we'd like to know what other people think house parties versus going out because some like some people love um like getting ready and getting all fancy etc and like i i, I do love that actually to be honest i have what, to be in the right mood you have to be in the right mood what do you not like about it it just takes effort right like I, in third year my makeup got more complex i'd say oh okay like, i started doing more but like still like i'm only wearing now foundation and eyeliner and a bit of um what do you call it highlight that's i can it. see the highlight the highlight's popping like, it's real I, nice. I don't really wear anything else Fucking, how many buses are going to drive past in this episode quite a lot i'm going to get real angry in a minute <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i what do you think you like getting ready and stuff? yeah i enjoy the ritual of it all i really do like i like the makeup i like the hair i like the pre-drinks i like I love the pre-drinks. part where everyone takes pictures together yeah. before they go out and stuff but then i feel like you can do that for a house party oh, you as can well you totally do that for a house party it's definitely not um mutually exclusive yeah yeah but um yeah no i get what you mean it can just some parts in chef like i'm i'm sure it's the same in newcastle but it's like on like saturdays you can't go in to certain clubs unless you're wearing heels oh it's it's not i mean the places i go at least in newcastle it's not so much like that i normally don't go out on the weekend i no, prefer I the weekday night it's heaving in chef on a weekend yeah and it's all like i mean i don't know if it's the same for you and chef but um in town it's like all the like football blokes come out and yeah. stuff and i just can't really be dealing with that yeah it's, yeah. which is one thing i'm not looking forward to in london is going oh, out to yeah. like clubs because entry for a club in london is like 20 pounds oh it's obscene yeah like so i think i'll be sticking to bars i like bars better anyway i like a good bar because you can't have a boogie at a bar definitely i like anywhere where you can have a boogie yeah yeah i just straight up bars are way better than clubs and like i said i haven't been in a club since second year wow fucking hell like the beginning of second oh no well i've been i've been in like clubs but there's one called hallam nation which oh, is okay. at crystal and it's solely on a wednesday for um is Team it just hallam? hallam yeah right and it's like crystal's like a big bar i'd say it's more of a bar than a club but it's got three floors so i'm not really sure what it is okay so i've been there but i've never been like to the stereotypical clubs like code which okay. is like a big one in chef but like that's the one that has like 17 year olds oh is it kind of like digi yeah right. yeah 
Right. I've never been to Digi, but yeah. I can I can fuck with Digi <clears throat> sometimes. If I'm drunk enough and the line's not too big, yeah. I'll go to Digi. And I like the floor that plays, like, all the little indie emo tunes. I remember one time I went with um, Jess and Iz, and we were, like, flitting about between all the different floors. For people who don't know, um, Digi has, it has, like, a ground floor, which is, like, chart music. And then there's a think tank, which is, like, alternative indie emo music. And then there's a the top floor, which is, like, R&B music. And so we were just kind of, like, hopping between all of them and then going out for a tab or whatever. And then, well, just me. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I've got to say, I am the friend who, little tangent, I'm the friend who always has a cigarette stolen on a night out. Cause always. I'm, always. Because everyone's like, oh, I don't smoke, whatever, and then I'll bring them out. And then it's just like, oh, can I just, can I just pinch one? Can yeah. I just pinch one? Oh, can I just pinch another? I don't mind it though, you know. I don't mind it. I'm glad that like, cause I like having a friend that smokes though, because it's nice to step outside. It's good to get some air and have a chat, yeah. yeah. Cause despite myths, it's not actually that smoky outside in the smoking area. No, true. Well, I guess it depends on the smoking area. Oh, yeah. oh my god, you've probably never, but um, at airports, um. The smoking areas are bizarre. Yeah, what is an airport smoking area? Right, well, it kind of depends on the airport that you're in. Um, One that I rate quite highly is the Newcastle one, because it's like, it's overlooking the runway, so you can see the I've airplanes going it, past yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure you have. And um, it's quite airy as well. Like, it it's like sticks out to the outside, and it's got a little grate that goes into the actual outdoors as well, so you do get a bit of fresh air in there. So I rate that one. Um... The one in Amsterdam is really weird. It's got like yellow lighting, empty Heineken glasses everywhere, weird like lounge seats where everyone is either pissed or hungover <laughs> or like asleep or all of the above. And it's just, yeah, it's very odd. And then there was one in um, in Rome as well, which was like a tiny little cubicle, six person maximum. Um, really, totally bizarre. And... Um, I remember it because there was this beautiful Italian man who came in at one point and I don't like I can hardly speak any Italian but one word that I know is um accendino which is lighter and so he came up and he said something to me and he said the word accendino and I was like oh he's asking for a lighter so I was like yes and clocked on I was like uh see there you go and then he, he, he like winked at me and I was like oh when I went to Italy some man called me a bella he was like, ciao, Bella. And I was Aww. like, marriage? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to marry me? Because Italian people. Oh, my God. Italian men. Yeah. Italian women. Yeah. Italians. <laughs> Fucking hell. The Europeans. <laughs> oh, Shout out to my Italian friends. You're all beautiful. Yeah, you are. It's actually kind of sad. One of the uh, best nights out I had in Newcastle was um, with like a bunch of Italian people that I'd met and they're, like, they're so bloody lovely like a couple of them I still chat to today and like I mean obviously I don't see them around now because Covid Covid, COVID. we need like a sound bite of just us singing Covid Covid walk away <laughs> <laughs> for a buck but yeah um no it's a great night and everyone was like dancey and chatty and like drinking wine and going out for smokes and just chilling and it was so lovely not a fan of wine though you're not a fan of wine no. i love a good glass of wine hardly anyone i know likes red wine and i always want to share red wine with people and like nobody fucks with it and it makes me sad yeah just, but then i guess more for me so i just don't like it i know i need i'll need to get accustomed to it for you don't need to big old, yeah well some of the law meetings you end up having oh. like so barrister training um I wanted to be a barrister and then I changed my mind but like one of the qualifying factors was to go to some wine and dine events and obviously they say wine yeah uh, which is dang oh okay about. what about like a spritzer can you fuck with a spritzer uh, I've never had one okay I, rem I remember one time because I used to work in a few bars like I've had a few pub jobs yeah. and one time somebody came up and she was like can I have a red wine spritzer and I was like 
do you mean white wine? And she was like, no, no, red wine spritzer with some lemonade in. And Is that what a spritzer is? Just wine and lemonade? Well, it's either wine and lemonade or wine and, like, soda water. Okay. Yeah, that's what a spritzer is. And normally people have it with white wine or sometimes rosé. Yeah. But yeah, this, okay. this woman was like, red wine spritzer. And I was like, what the fuck? Um, so I made it for her anyway. And then at the end of our shift, I turned to my colleague and I was like, remember that red wine spritzer? I think... I think we should give it a try. And we did, and it was actually really nice. Was it? Yeah. So maybe, maybe when you do your um, lawyer wine and dine things, maybe you should just have spritzers. Yeah, I think I might. Luckily, I don't have to do them, like, as a qualifying factor, because you only need them for the barrister, not the... Oh, yeah, and you don't want to be a barrister anymore, yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, I just, I don't know what it is about wine. It's Mm. never... But then I never really got into drinking until I was, like... 17 yeah fair like because i never drank as when we was we were with us really did i no maya was always the kid at the house party who was tidying up and like <laughs> tricking people into having shots of water she'd be like here have this is vodka and we'd all be like maya we saw you pour it out the tap have you seen that video and it's a guy in a club and he gets handed a glass of like what he thinks is vodka lemonade yeah he like sucks it up and spits it right back in the face the girl's oh face God. and he's like this is water oh <laughs> well, see if she's I can pissed go on uh, guy spitting water guy spitting water meme <laughs> i'm scared yeah okay i found that <laughs> i'm sure you found some weird shit what yeah i was really scared to search um I sorry mean... to the... Oh my god, that's great! <laughs> Did you see the A at the end? No, I didn't. Let me see again. <laughs> no. He's like taking the piss out of her. That's brilliant. It's just a mood. I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you ever been on a night out in another country? I, um, yeah, in Berlin. Nice. Tell me about it. Oh, it was weird. Oh, was it? It started off really nice. Yeah. Um, Because we went to Berlin for like a committee thing with Nuco mm-hmm. last year. So they flew out lots of committees and we got to like meet each other and stuff. Great. Um sorry, we... what's Nuco? Oh it's sorry, it's a ski company that we worked with for the holidays. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, yeah. And then <laughs> um we ended up going to like this gay sex bar club in Berlin. Oh my god, why wasn't I invited? It was really weird. Like loads of men were hitting on me and I was the only girl out of like all of all of the Sheffield lot that went like oh. us Uniot like the two clubs from Uniot so I was the only girl that was there and I remember the boys like could tell I was getting really uncomfortable by oh, all these like weird bless you. men so they like formed a circle around me and pushed oh, me I love like, that pushed me in the middle and they were like not moving it was really cute it's like a um, pro penguins yeah it was nice Aww. but that's it like it was a good night until like yeah the sex club was a bit weird like it yeah. You know, it's it's really annoying because you know as a queer person like I go on a lot of queer nights out and stuff um <clears throat> there's a real debate like an ongoing debate about straight people in LGBT spaces yeah. like on nights out and stuff and it's odd because like obviously you get like your bachelorette parties and they go and like scream and get pissed and have a wild time and some people get really annoyed by that because it's like you know this is this is not your moment this is not your moment and then um you get a lot of um like really creepy guys coming in and stuff like that as well and hitting on all of the girls and it's like this is a gay club this is like not what we want and then like oh for me as a bi person um you know sometimes i would be like going out with my ex-boyfriend and being like should should i be bringing him into this space oh. and wondering like if because i mean obviously he was straight and then it's like is that valid like am i still welcome is he welcome should i have come by myself and then like at the end of the day i was like well i mean you know by his dual attraction so yeah it's a difficult one isn't it it's is a really like, difficult one we went to the club because a few of our mates were like were gay and bi and they didn't want to go on their own and yeah. they wanted to show it to us yeah it's like um, uh, but they made us take up they made us hand our phones in 
Really? That's how intense the club was. Oh my god, I've heard I've I've heard of this club, yeah. I've known the one in Berlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know someone it's, who's been. It's well known. It's like I'd never heard of it. I can't remember the name of it. It's like a real like high end like Yeah, but yeah. you have to hand your phones in, it's very high security. That's wild. Yeah, like and just all these kids from like Nuco had just turned up to it. It was weird. Wow. Yeah. There's like there was so many different rooms and stuff and like I remember my mate saying that if you walk too far in you'd find like a pool and people having sex in the I don't know. Wow. Yeah. I never made it that far. Me and my friend we left because I was tired and he could tell I was getting stressed out by all the men. Yeah, fair enough. So he enough. was like, We will go back yeah. to the hostel and we did. It was nice. Yeah. Nice. But um, yeah, I've never been to a club where you have to hand your phone in before. No, no, I the, the only place that I've heard of it is like you were saying, that place. Yeah. I think it's like a famous, what you would call it. Yeah, it's very like they protect the people that are inside, which is good, I suppose. No, that is kind of cool. Yeah, protect yeah. people's privacy, especially like in this day and age. Unfortunately, that's it's still at a point where a lot of people can't be open about who they are as a person. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that helps protect them. Like if people are closeted, and yeah, they still want to go out. Exactly, which I completely get yeah totally that makes sense never been in a situation where the phone you had to hand your phone in before you could go in yeah um, and you got given like a little token and you had to keep it on you because if you lost it you were full you wouldn't get your phone back yeah exactly yeah that's wild you could keep everything else on you i remember um, my friend dropped a bottle in the middle of the floor while oh, it was no. still quite empty and they, they were all glass bottles they gave you not plastic oh shit and i've still got the scar on my finger from where i picked it up and um holy shit so you do i cut myself and he was like what are you doing and i was like someone might fall on this you have to get it out of the way i that's a good point because you know club floors are slippery mm. um, but yeah i'm reminded of this scene from killing eve are you gonna watch it mm. It's on my list to watch. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you know what? Never mind then. <laughs> well, I, I, was, I was thinking about this. I was like, at what point do we give spoilers? Because if we've both seen it, we're not spoiling it for us, but we could be spoiling it for a listener. I think if we just say spoiler alert or put it in the description, then that's yeah, fine. And then people can tune alert, out. And then, yeah. And we then, could even put a little thing saying, like, skip to this part yeah, if you want to miss and it. And you could do, like, an audio clip above in, in edit if they're listening. Definitely. That, so that, like, that's what we'll do, guys, because it, it can be... Re- Sorry, I've got, just got this thing in my hand. No, it's fine. But it's it totally fine. it can be really frustrating, like, listening to a podcast or watching a show. And having something ruined. And they ruined it. And yeah. Like, like, especially when you're, like, halfway through it. Yeah. And you're just like, great. You know what? I'm not going to talk about the scene from Killing Eve, but when you watch it, you'll know. We'll and then talk we'll have about this conversation again. Oh, okay, cool, um, cool, yeah, cool. Well, I'm more than happy to talk about it off the podcast. I'm just I'm scared that someone might be like, "Well, I was halfway through, and then you ruined it, and then we'll be like, ah, so don't want to upset the fan base." Don't want to, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the fan base, though, we are growing. Yeah, we've got like 13 subscribers on YouTube. Nice. I think we've got like 18 followers. Oh yeah, on... you've got all the stats up there, haven't you? We got. 38 listeners holy shit 17 followers and that's just on spotify oh unfortunately none of the information's coming through from apple Podcasts, which is really... i think it's because we haven't got enough episodes yeah. up yet it's really pissing me off i just want to know yeah i just want us to get featured on like apple or spotify recommended that would be tight like, that would new, be really the tight. new and noteworthy like how do you suggest like how do you push yourself out there enough to, to get noticed we use your like twenty thousand TikTok followers. Yeah, well we're gonna we're gonna film that's what we're gonna do after this. We're gonna film a trailer. Oh I see the word. So that I can edit it on my laptop and insert some clips and then we can put it up. Yeah. Um but basically guys what we're just asking is for you to tell all your mates about it. Yes, 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 yes. Because we look like it is so like so much fun doing it. It's so much fun, I it's love been it. It's a big learning curve as well. It's literally just having nice chats with me mate in a nice setting and people are enjoying that. It's like what a what a treasure yeah. that is. What's and it, what's even weirder is my like my friendship with you, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, is very different to like my friendship with Izzy. Yeah. We would go like we would go a long periods of time like i do with zara we go long periods of time without talking mm. and it, that's just how we were like we just vibe better like that but it since, would always come back and be yeah. like yeah but since doing the podcast like we've got more to talk about yeah absolutely. and i think it's because we do have the topics and we're not just coming in like oh, what do we want to talk about did you see the news this morning like sorry no it's too depressing like but do you know what i mean like we've got no, so do. much like i'm learning more about you now then the whole how many years about 10 years 
something eight like years it's, like eight years yeah. yeah 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 um which i really like no me too i really like it too and it's like things that are coming up that with the categories and shit that we do on the wheel like topics are coming up that maybe wouldn't come up naturally in conversation yeah like so the episode like i had no we idea filmed... you went to a berlin gay sex club uh yeah weird i had no idea you'd been to so many concerts yeah <laughs> so we'd like the episode that will have come out last week oh sorry um was about music and we learned a lot about each other's music taste and then yeah. we ended up going into a big conversation about soundtracks we didn't realize that we were both really into soundtracks. soundtracks yeah and then so we sat and had dinner with your family and then we started talking about soundtracks yeah then. and it's just it, i just like it because so i knew of eula's family and they like knew of me i'd never met jimmy before well because he, he'd jimmy been in mostly lives in vietnam, vietnam yeah <laughs> like, obviously i knew who wolf was because he was only like two years younger than us and yeah i'd like kind of briefly met your parents before but yeah. now like i love them to pieces you're a regular like, i love coming around because they just make me laugh and they're just well it's nice it's a really nice so we're dynamic. glad that we can take you guys on our shit chat chat and shit adventures yes because it is essentially what we do it's just what a podcaster does yeah they just, they Being... just chat shit and go off on a tangent because we're meant to be talking about <laughs> <laughs> music and going out but um <clears throat> can i tell you about my foreign going out yes, experience please so there's two um one was one was especially lovely um i went out on my 20th birthday in latina in italy because we were on holiday for my friend's baby's christening which was awesome and let me tell you italians they go hard at the christening baby yeah, boy. they go hard at the christening i love that family like i love that family the family you're on about beautiful family gorgeous family so lovely yeah anyway with the story that's all right but yeah no it was so the event was so much fun like there was a lot of language barrier going on there like a lot of the relatives at the party who were italian didn't speak much english we didn't speak much italian so we mainly just kind of like vibed and danced and we drank lots and lots of wine and it was a really good <laughs> yeah, time boy. and um yeah then another night we went out with um my mates like old mates from school and stuff and um it turned to midnight like on my birthday and they all stopped me in the street and sang happy birthday to me in italian was and then this, we went and got cocktails this was for your 20th this was for my 20th yeah yeah that's so cute it was lovely you also went to amsterdam with like the, the lads and zara didn't you yeah that was um how was that <laughs> pass okay <laughs> i was sad i couldn't go i just i think i just wanted the tattoo that you've got oh honey we can get a matching tattoo going somewhere else yes please yeah we should get one related to the podcast shout out to karis thank you for mine and zara's matching tattoos yeah. but it, i mean i i think me, i was sad because i wasn't able to like because we've never been on holiday together yeah unfortunately couldn't come to scotland yeah so it's something i want to do because funnily enough i was in amsterdam again yeah. when you were in scotland but um yeah no it's such a good time and the only reason why i said pass is because um it so it's essentially me one other girl and a bunch of boys really nice group of boys but mainly what they wanted to do was go to the coffee shops and smoke lots of weed and me and my mate like we're always you know down for that as well but we also wanted to sorry there's bloody fly yeah, in my was... face fuck off fuck off fuck off fuck off <laughs> Okay, he's on your side okay, of the room, cool. I'm fine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, like, we, we wanted to go to the coffee shops too, but we also wanted to go and do more, like, sightseeing touristy yeah. things as well, like the canals or the Van Gogh Museum, I which I've actually that. been to, and it's awesome. I've been to one in Italy, I believe, but not the official one, but there are quite Dang. a few in Italy. Yeah. Anyway, you was, oh no, the Da Vinci, Da Vinci, not, Italy, not Van Gogh. Sorry. Anyway. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. I know that I, I wanted to go to, um, when I went to Spain, I wanted to go to the Dali Museum, but it was fully booked out for the time we were there. But then we found out that there was space to go to the Picasso Museum, so I went to the Picasso Museum instead, and that was awesome. I've been to the Uffizi in Florence. Oh, I didn't know that one. It's like this massive museum, and it's insane. It's got the Michelangelo. No, yeah. Well, the creation of Adam. Oh, no, that's on the Sistine Chapel. No, um... <laughs> The 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 na you know the one of the naked guy yeah that has got hit the original statue of him in it fucking hell that's amazing Uffizi, yeah really cool if you ever go to Florence visit Uffizi 
Lindsay and like the Dom as well, which you climb up the top of it. Oh, nice. I anyway. have a mate who lives quite near Florence, actually. Maybe if I go pay her a visit, then do we it. can go and check it out. Do it, because we unfortunately we went to Florence in like the middle of summer ah. last year in the heat wave, so it was 40 degrees. Oh, right, so you couldn't yeah. really do anything outside, and Florence is a predominantly outside city. Right. But um, would recommend. Tight. Anyway, back to nights out That's in right. foreign countries. Oh, yeah. So the other one was um, in Hanoi. I went to a drag night with my mum. Oh, my God. And that was awesome. So we bought... Right. You can't even imagine how weird this experience was. It was amazing, though. So we walk into this place and it's like... A... We go down some stairs and it's got these high-rise walls and no ceiling. And um, we're like, is this the club? What's going on? And there's this really friendly gorgeous gay guys with like makeup and heels and everything and they're like sit down have some tea have some bread they just had like packets of plain bread and we'll do your hair and your makeup and so they put me and my mum in drag and then they let us pick out like some bits of clothes and stuff i have some pictures i'll show you after this and then we went upstairs into like this closed off little bar area and that's where the drag show was and the three there was like four pieces that I remember specifically. Um, there was one that was a woman doing a monologue about vaginas. There was one that was this guy who sat there for, I swear to God, 10 minutes with a balloon, just like squeaking it around in his hands and squishing it into a microphone. Interesting. And then at the very end, he popped it and we all clapped. <laughs> <laughs> then there was um there was this american drag queen who was there i i unfortunately don't remember her name but she was fab she did like a amazing dance she had like a superwoman costume on and then there was this um bio drag queen which is a drag queen who's biologically female um who did the song to um that song that's like it's my birthday and i'll cry if i want to oh, yeah. and she had a cake and then she like ended up she was like picking up the cake and like shoving it in her mouth and like throwing it everywhere and stuff it was amazing that reminds me of like the edinburgh fringe yes it was quite a lot like the fringe i fucking love the fringe love the fringe and there are some amazing bars in edinburgh yes oh my god yes we went out um we have like a, a ski competition in edinburgh every amazing. like november time so we always go out after <clears throat> and the bars like they're insane what's it called the big pub that everyone goes to oh, i don't know the three sisters oh i don't think i've been it's so nice nice it's very like oh i just love it i love going out in like unknown cities and like exploring them like i just think it's really nice to just wander yes oh my god i love a good mooch and explore really you don't do. even have to like have an agenda like you don't have to go out out you can just explore them and it's really nice yeah like i remember wandering through rome and then all of a sudden we were just like oh look that's a coliseum <laughs> <laughs> interesting it was cool but um yeah also alcohol in foreign countries is like one cheaper and two nicer i i will contest that with one example which is um when we were in amsterdam the second time when it was the big gang of us we went into this bar and um, the first thing about this bar is that they had the most amazing smoked almond dispenser we spent about 10 euros between all of us like putting money in the thing and just eating these almonds might have been because we were stoned but you know they were so good. I think about those almonds all the time. Definitely was because she was stoned. Yeah, but also they were amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, then we went up and I was like, I oh, fancy a drink. Does anyone else fancy a drink? So we... Oh, nice sound effect. That was so... Sorry, everyone. That was really satisfying. That was really satisfying. Anyway, rude. <laughs> we went up to the bar and we were like, can we get some Jaeger bombs, please? And they were like, we don't know what that is. And we were like, oh, you know, it's like Jaeger and Red Bull. And she was like, well, we don't have Red Bull, so you can just have some Jaeger. <laughs> so we just shot in straight Jaeger that we paid an absolute fortune for. Oh, it's me dad going for a wonder. All right, you're on camera. We're going to play darts later. Yeah, we're going to play darts. I don't know where he's going. What are we going to do? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> anyway, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Jaeger, you just haven't... Sh Shots of straight Jaeger. Yeah, yeah. That and it, that was awful. fucking grim. It was How really much was grim. It? I don't remember, but it was quite expensive. It was very like sorry, I've got a right itchy nose, it's a pollen. Um Yeah. It was like a touristy central pub, so it was quite pricey. To be fair, places in the Alps are spenny. It was like True. one of the, one of the bars we went to, it was like ten euros for a double. Mm. 
which is expensive. Yeah. But then we were supposed to go to Pasta de Casa, which is in Andorra, mm-hmm. at Easter, and Andorra is a tax haven. Unfortunately, we couldn't go, but the alcohol there is so cheap. You'll buy a litre bottle of alcohol, and they'll give you a like, smaller one for free. Dreamy. Yeah. I'm sad we couldn't go, but... Oh, Next time, hun, Next time you'll get back. Yeah. Sorry, I keep playing with this. No, like... it's fine. You play away. I've been playing with the um, weird little thingy i don't even know what you would call that you know the things on the cushions oh, yeah. that go in what are they called I, I don't even know i just know that we're those those kind of people that can't sit still we're very fidgety yeah like yeah the watchers i'm sure you have noticed like, been fidgeting all like, especially this t-shirt been like fidgeting about and i got something in my eye as well my eye keeps like itching. oh mate oh my god i remember when i was editing our first episode i noticed something that i do and i know that i do it i just didn't realize how often i did it is it the piercing thing? it's the piercing yeah. thing <laughs> I'd sit there and I'd go like this because yeah, I'm playing or, with my or you're like, piercing. Or you like play it like this and I've, I've noticed you do it and I just think it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so embarrassing. I'm sat there like... Mm. <laughs> In like the first episode we filmed that never made it to this, the big screen, Eula <laughs> sits for like five minutes and she's just like this, like a little laugh <laughs> and talking and it's perfectly fine. It's just so funny. I was FaceTiming Maya the um, other day and I was putting my septum in. Do they want to be any louder? Rude. There's like some kind of mad traffic jam going on side. We're on the air. Did you not see the red light? Hello. Hello. Idiots. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I was FaceTiming Maya the other day and I'd taken my piercing out because I was having some really bad allergies because, like we said, high pong count. And um, I was trying to put my septum back in and she was like, how do you even do that? And so I showed her the whole process yeah, with the weird. screwing the ball on and the loop and yeah, it freaked her out a yeah, little bit. I, I really want to get my nose pierced. But oh my God, you look so gorgeous with the nose piercing. Yeah, thanks. But I'm kind of, it's a it's a very big Hindu thing to do. I've seen with the connecty. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. But then it's like core like I wouldn't be really allowed to wear it in court but could you do it while you're still a student yeah I could do and you could like if you got it done say now for example now that the tattoo and piercing shops have opened back up um you could get it and then give it enough time to heal that you could take it out when you go to court does it hurt yes see I'm not great although with, but she says with two tattoos I have four no uh, sorry you <laughs> two tattoos and four piercings yeah how many piercings do I have that car literally I've never be seven. any louder. Bye, bitch. <laughs> she looked <laughs> right at me. She looked right into my soul. <laughs> she looked about 12. I think she's going to come kill me. Yeah, I mean, that woman that I put my hazard lights on because she got too close oh, I. gave me the death glare when I was parked outside your house. Dang. So. If you don't move your car, you'll die in seven days. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> yeah, what were we saying? Tadio, how many times? I mean... We really shouldn't go into tattoos and piercings. Oh yeah, we're saving we this for a separate episode. A whole yeah. episode that will be designated to it. So. Should we drop this subject and come back to it yeah, later? Sorry, folks, but you'll have to stay tuned. Bye. To, um, listen to the rest. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, drinking. Drinking going. going out. Out. Well, we're on thirty-seven minutes. So. We can keep it going for a little bit longer. I don't really have any more stories, but I'm sure you do. <laughs> for sure. I'm just not a big, big drinker or a big goer out. That's true. Whereas I. Um, did you hear my throat there? Like, <laughs> I'd much rather like I'm all for getting drunk, but I just like staying in and chilling and yeah, I'm going for going stay out at home can make me like thing. anxious sometimes, especially because I'm so small. Mm. Like I, like I was saying, like I am overlooked in clubs, and it is yeah. really easy to get like pushed out of the way, and yeah, that stresses me out. Whereas like at home, I can just chill out. I, was, I can't remember who I was talking to, like, but my like my dream date wouldn't be like. It wouldn't be going for a meal at a restaurant and like... I hate eating in front of other people. Yeah. I do not want to be asked out to a restaurant. I've done it before and it's been nice, but it's like I would much rather like have a film like at home and like sit and watch a movie or go for a walk. Or... Yeah, going for a walk's good because then you get the chat. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to like take them to the beach. Yes, that's Can't, gorgeous. Like, or go to an art museum. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I'm just... I, I miss don't... the Baltic. Yeah. Oh, I, miss... I used to go all the time. I loved the Baltic. I only went a few times, but uh, I loved it. We'll have to go when it reopens eventually. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, do you have a st- did you have a story? Um, possibly. <laughs> no, what I was going to say was on the subject of going out like 
stressing you out and things. Jesus fucking Christ, this what is this? Where? Oh, it's a train. Oh, it's a train. Yeah, we live. Like, you can I see live it really right near there. a train station. Yeah. Oh, cool. And I always have actually, even when I lived in Walkworth, I was right near a train station. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I can like because of that, I can and because of going to festivals from a young age, I can sleep through anything, including my alarms. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I, apparently, I slept through the fire alarm the other day. No way. Yeah, mum was like, yeah, the fire alarm went off at like eight in the morning. And I was like, did it? Mm. She's like, you didn't wake up, did you? No. no. Maya, you do know there's a fire alarm in your bedroom. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. I remember the fire alarm in my old uni accommodation used to go off all the time and there was one particular day because they wanted us to like gather in the courtyard whenever that happened um there was a courtyard because my accommodation used to be a nunnery (laughs) and um there was one day it would go off and then we would get halfway down the stairs and it would stop and we'd go back to our rooms and then it would go off and we'd get halfway down the stairs and it would stop and we'd go back to our rooms and I was running late for a lecture so it was literally one point where I was like right fuck it I'm just going and I put my boots on and stormed out the door and then all of the like warden for down there like you need to get on the line and I was like fuck off <laughs> get lost oh my god one time one of my first nights out in Newcastle um I made friends with this girl in the flat opposite me lovely girl still friends with her on like social media and shit and um there was a little gang of us and we were going on a night out and we were at the bus stop and then there was this guy pulled up in his car and started shouting at this other guy at the bus stop we don't know what instigated it but they were proper like having a go at each other and stuff and then she went over to try and intervene not sure why she did that probably should have just stayed out of it but it's all good it's in the past and then he the guy in the car threw his drink at the other guy but it missed and hit my friend and it went in her eyes and her eyes got like all like swollen and infected and she couldn't see so we went to a and e and we sat there for like six hours and we had to like talk to police and stuff and that was one of my first like uni nights out shit yeah i've never had a a night where i've had to go to a and e but my friend came home and she'd like tripped and split her lip open so (gasps) i had to take her to a and e and i've gone to a and e at like one in the morning once because of my appendix oh and it was like um i didn't want to wake any of my housemates up so i was going to go on my own or just go the next day and i was actually talking to someone and he was like um he was like asking me why i was awake at this time and i was like my appendix is really sore he was like didn't it because like i'd had issues with it the summer before and i remember like he took me to amy and sat me for like six hours oh what a gem this like disgusting Room. Oh my god, it's like through the looking glass going to the A and E waiting room. It's awful. It's wild. It, apparently, it's got a lot. Obviously, got a lot of bear because since COVID, 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 people have realised they don't. They're they're being a hyper hypochondriac. Like right. They like they realise they don't need to go as much. Oh okay. Like, they're going for every little thing. So and, it's a bit quieter, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Which is a good thing, but I wonder how long it'll stay like that until people are like, oh, I've stubbed my toe. A and E. We're on forty-two minutes. All right, darling. We'll I feel like up. yeah. Here's a good point to wrap it up. We've. I thought that was Jess for a minute. Ha. Huh. And um, we've we've done a, a whistle top store. Whistle stop. I beg your fucking pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what you were trying to say. Try a again. whistle stop tour. Whistle stop tour. On oh, drinking and going out. Drinking and going out. And a little. We touched on uni again, which was nice. Yeah. Let's get back to this with gin another day yeah we're, we're what do you, what do you mean let's do it again with with gin okay i was like who's gin no gin the drink right Dead yeah shit. can tell you haven't been out in a while yeah obviously <laughs> but um who are you shouting out this week <clears throat> i don't know i mean i just did a shout out for the yeah, you have to do another one. Oh my god can you go first i always go first um I would like to shout out. Mm, who do I want to shout? This is a difficult question. Oh, I've thought of mine. Yeah. I want to shout out Spilt Milk Zine again. My friend Molly's Zine that she does for um, Northeast Women and Non-Binary Artists. About them. Nice. Um, because they are prepping to do a big old Halloween issue to come out in October, and they are currently open looking for submissions. So go on and have a look at that. Yeah. Um. Have a have a peek at that and if it suits you submit yeah um i still don't know who i wanna um i'm gonna shout wilf out for his really nice ratatouille yeah shout out wilf i think freya taught him the recipe so shout out freya as well freya's got a special place in my heart now freya's a gem see you later wilf better be listening hello freya (laughs) (laughs) but um as 
as usual guys thanks for listening to today's episode thank you so much thank you thank you we are at uni of oversharing on instagram um we are university of oversharing on youtube soundcloud spotify and itunes on very lots of different um platforms Ooh, it's really exciting yeah um but thanks for tuning in and sticking with us so far um don't forget to drop us a dm of any suggestions and keep an eye out for our story because we'll probably be asking more questions soon yeah so please answer them because we really do find them useful yeah and then we'll catch you later bye bitches bye. Bye.